Charcoal has also been used for cooking or grilling foods. It has been continuously used for centuries until now. The charcoal is composed of woods that are heated above 400 degrees Celsius in low oxygen to burn up volatile compounds such as water, methane, hydrogen, and tar. But from the fact that it is made out of wood, it is one of the reasons for deforestation. As an alternative way of cooking foods besides charcoal, biomass briquettes are better compared to ordinary charcoal as it gives better and more sustainable heat for quite a time and it releases almost no smoke upon using. As for the process of making, unlike the ordinary charcoal, it is not bad for the environment because it is composed of recycled papers that are soaked into water mixed with dry holes in cow dang as its binding agent, compressed, molded, and dried under the sun. Only a few people are using this kind of alteration and they are sticking in the same old way. This experimental study focuses on making an eco-friendly recoil briquette from an indigenous material instead of the commonly used conventional charcoal. This research is conducted to provide a solution for the massive production of coal and cutting trees by determining the capability of the recoil briquette as a new biofuel. The objective of this study is to determine the effectivity of the recoil briquettes, the waste paper, rice hull, and cow dung will serve as the main components for making the recoil briquettes. Specifically, this study aims to answer the questions what are the components of the recoil briquettes in terms of amount of proportion? Which of the treatments are more effective in terms of ignition time, combustion time, boiling time, and ash content? Is there a significant difference between the recoil briquette and the conventional charcoal? The instruments that utilized during the experimentation are weighing scale, timer, bamboo, sticks, syringe, and gas, kettle, cup, water bottle, much or lighter, pail or basin, and also plastic gloves. The materials used in conducting the study are rysal, waste paper, cow dung, and water. The preparation and making the first treatment of Brikoa briquette. The ratio of the material should be 413. Prepare 200 grams of obsolete paper, 50 grams of rysal, 150 grams of cow dung, and 1.5 liters of water and use plastic gloves for sanitary purposes. Place the water to the basin, turn the papers into small pieces and soak it into the water to further soften the papers and mix it if necessary. Add the rice salt to the mixture of water and paper. Thereafter, add the cow dung while mixing the mixture and make sure that it is completely mixed and place it inside the bamboo tubes. Compress the mixture inside the bamboo tube using a stick until the water stops from flowing up. And last, place the produced recoa briquettes under the sun and let it dry. The preparation and making of second treatment of recoa briquette. First, the ratio of the material should be 144. Prepare 50 grams of obsolete paper. 200 grams of rice oil, 150 grams of cow dung, and 1.5 liters of water. And use plastic gloves for sanitary purposes. Place the water to the basin. Turn the papers into small pieces and soak it into the water to further soften the papers. And mix it if necessary. And add the rice oil to the mixture of water and paper. Thereafter, add the cow dung while mixing the mixture. Make sure that it is completely mixed and place it inside the bamboo tubes and compress the mixture inside the bamboo tube using a stick until the water stops from blowing up. And last, place the produced recoa briquettes under the sun and let it dry. For the validation and evaluation of ignition time, first prepare a 300 grams of recoa briquette 1. Then, Pour a 20 ml of gas and set it on fire. Then, using a timer, observe and record the time of each ignition. Then, repeat the same procedure for 3 times for replication. Then, repeat the same procedure for the two remaining treatments. And lastly, compare the ignition time of each treatment. 
For the validation and evaluation of combustion time, firstly, after igniting its treatment, wait until it extinguishes itself. Then, using a timer, observe and record each combustion time. Then, repeat the same procedure three times for replication. And lastly, compare the combustion time of each treatment. For the validation and evaluation of boiling time, first prepare a kettle. Then, place a 750 cubic centimeter water on the kettle. Then, place the kettle on the fired furnace and wait until it boils. Then, using a timer, observe and record the time it took before boiling. Then, repeat the same procedure three times for replication. Then, repeat the same procedure for the two remaining treatments. And lastly, compare the boiling time of each treatment. For the validation and evaluation of ash content, after each treatment extinguishes itself, record and observe the ash content through a weighing scale. Then finally, compare the ash content of each treatment. Based on the gathered data from the experimentation, the following results are presented. The components of the recoil briquette 1 are 50 grams of rice hull, 150 grams cow dung, 200 grams of waste paper, and 1.5 liter of water. The components of the recoil briquette 2 are 200 grams of rice hull, 150 grams cow dung, 50 grams of waste paper, and 1.5 liter of water. Based on the results, the average time and weight are also determined. Treatment 1. The ignition time is 21 seconds, combustion time is 4,087 seconds, boiling time is 488 seconds, and 1.5 gram of ash content. Treatment 2. The ignition time is 36 seconds, combustion time is 3,059 seconds, boiling time is 766.33 seconds, and 4 grams of ash content. Treatment 3. The ignition time is 84.67 seconds, combustion time is 2,555 seconds, boiling time is 1,051.67 seconds, and 8.67 grams of ash content. Based on the findings, the Ricoa briquette is significantly different from the conventional charcoal in terms of ignition time, combustion time, boiling time, and ash content. Specifically, the Ricoa briquette 1 shows a promising potential as it ignites faster, combusts longer, boils water faster, and produces the lowest amount of ash among the three treatments. Hence, there is a significant difference between the Ricoa briquette and the conventional charcoal. The Ricoa briquette made from rice hull, cow dung, and waste paper is strongly effective as an alternative biofuel.